Today we're going to demonstrate how to do a proper pump down. Uh, when you get done with your pre-trip, you always want to pump down your brake system to make sure you have good air lines and your brakes are in adjustment. As you can see, we have a shock block behind the wheel here to keep us from rolling when we release the brakes. For safety's sake, we got it. We're a pretty level land here, but just in case, it does go downhill slightly. Today we're going to do a pump down. First step is to build your air pressure up until the regulator kicks in. You'll hear it release. As you can see, our air pressure is low. The orange gauge on these is the primary, the green gauge is the secondary. Now that the primary gauge is a little over 100, now you can see your secondary gauge starting to come up. Pretty soon you'll hear it release, the, the valve release the pressure. the window down so I can listen for it. the pressure valve release. Now what we want to do is put the truck in gear. If you have an automatic, of course you have to put it in neutral, make sure your wheels are chocked. You want to shut the truck off. Turn the key on so that your gauges are working. And at that point you want to release your brakes with your foot covering the brake pedal. Not on it, but just covering it in case you roll away. Now you'll see your air gauges dropping as the pressure releases. As soon as they stabilize, you can see right now they're stabilized at about 110, 115 pounds. Now you want to put full pressure on your brake pedal so that if you have any bad air lines or anything back there, you want them to blow out now while you're sitting in a parking lot, not while you're going down the highway. You should not lose no more than seven pounds of air pressure per minute with a tractor and trailer. If you just had your tractor, you were bobtailing, it would be four pounds. We'll now put the brake pedal on. You'll see the initial drop. Went down to about 100 pounds. Now, in one minute, we should be nowhere near about 92 pounds at the very least. We started at 247. I got my head out the window. I'm listening for any air leaks. I hear nothing. Everything sounds good. The pressure's staying very stable. At 248, we'll now release them. We know we're good. We got good brake lines. Nothing blew out. The pressure stayed steady. At this point, you want to pump down your brakes. What you're doing there is checking for your light to come on, your warning light, warning buzzer, and these brakes should pop out at around 20 to 40 PSI. And uh, after that happens, what this also does is it uh, adjusts your slack adjusters for you on your brakes so you have proper braking going down the road. If you do this every day, that'll keep them slack adjusters in good, good shape. Now we'll just pump the pedal down. You can see a buzzer already coming on, telling us air, low air at 60 pounds. Our 
our buttons popped out yeah right around 25 pounds so between 20 and 40 everything's good at this point you can start your truck back up build your pressure back up and no going down the road you have a good brake system